Hello, it's Ernesto. So last time I started working on my first animated short film. I started scoring that. And if you watched that video, if you haven't, you can check that out uh, over here. Now, if you check that out, you know that I wrote some music and I sent it off to the director. Now I got some notes back and I have some revisions that I need to do, uh, particularly in the end credit sequence. I practically have to redo it. So that's what we're gonna try to figure out how to do right now. Okay, now let me show you my first version of the end credits. So there it is. Um, the notes I got back were that it was a little too melancholic for being the end of the film. And frankly, I agree. I don't know why I went so sad with this. But let's try to let's try to make something new. Now I came up with a theme that I didn't use in the end credits for some reason, but here it is. Okay, so I finished my revised version of the end credits. I'm gonna send it off to the director to see what he thinks. Uh, I personally need to go practice because I have a lesson coming up and I have to be ready for that. So we'll just wait until we get notes back. Another thing I did this week was score study Appalachian Spring by Aaron Copeland. This, if you haven't already looked at it, is a fantastic piece of music to look at. Here I'm studying his original version for 13 musicians. It's, it's just absolutely wonderful. But this is super boring to look at. So another really cool thing I got to do was get to see Steve Gadd, one of the best drummers of all time talk to me and the rest of the percussion studio at the university that I go to. It was absolutely fantastic to be able to see a hero of mine uh, talk to us in real time. It was absolutely surreal. Super cool. All right, several days later, I have an update. Okay, so I'm in a group chat with the director and the sound editor of the film. So I sent over the new end credits. The sound editor likes it a lot. But the director prefers the older one a little more. And so they're kind of at, at odds with each other. But he still does like the new end credits. So I thought about it and I said that what I thought that I would do is make a new end credit sequence, kind of combining the two moods. So one was more somber and melancholic. The other was more hopeful and uh, happy. So I'm going to try my best to make a new end credit sequence that is a combination of the two. 
Not going to finish today. I know that for certain. But it is going to be a process. Now let's get to it. All right. There's a fly in here. All right, let's figure out some uh, melodies first. trying to achieve here. It's the end of the film. Our main character is dealing with loss, but at the end she kind of starts to come out of it, but not completely, right? So it can't be that hopeful. Excited. I think this is the, 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 the right direction for this. Man, and you always feel so intimidated to s work on something that you're not sure you're gonna know how to do. Then once you actually just put yourself to it and start working on it, you figure something out and you, you find your way every time. Every time this happens, it, it happens like that. Uh, but I'm gonna have to finish this tomorrow, so. We'll do that then. I'm excited! If the audio sounds different, that's because I have the mic in a different position today. Okay, I think we're done. I'm gonna send this back to the team, uh, see if they like it. They now have three different end credits to choose from, so hopefully one of those three will be uh, the one that we go with. But that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ernesto Composer, and you can visit my website at ernestocomposer.com. Thank you so very much for watching, and as always, take care.